Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Scrap Mechanics for you guys. Today we are going to try and remake the device that is seen on the login screen. It's a um, some sort of trike uh, that we're going to try and remake. And I think it's pretty cool. The last vehicle we remade from this game was pretty darn neat and I I thought it was I thought it was worth giving it a shot. So I it's the picture that you see on the front is like really tough to uh, to try and and decrypt a little bit. So I'm trying to do this here. It's at least four wide. So why don't we take that off? And then I'm thinking I don't know for sure, but uh, I know that it's got a seat on it like so. So why don't we connect this up? And then I think that it's got just enough room for an engine in the front. So I don't think that's there. I could be wrong on this. It's like I said, this is like a really tough picture to kind of go off of. So we're going to place a couple of these like so. And that, that seems to be okay. Gosh, it's really tough to tell. Um, and then I'm going to flip these upward like so. And that's as far down as that guy's going to go. So now we need to go ahead and get up here. And then just place these down. And then we're going to have... Oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, these might be too, too tall. Yeah, I'm thinking that these are too tall. I'm thinking that I need to stick with these. So why don't we take these off like so, and then we can just do a couple here. Because I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking that this is more likely. So why don't we do that? And we just have to get up here. Let me up on the engine. And then we can take these and uh, head to the back with them. Like that. And like that. And then place a couple more. All right. And then we can have these turned down uh, for what? Um, all right. So I think that's... That's got to be pretty darn close. Now, there might actually be a little bit of a difference here. Let's let's take this out. That was not what I meant to do, but all right. Take that out, and we're going to just place a, a piece in there like that and a piece in there like that, and just, just going to connect those up, and then we'll place this going downward again. All right. And then from there... I'm thinking there's a there's actually a thruster in here. So why don't we grab the thruster? I think we're probably actually gonna be done with that. We'll grab the thruster and it does stick out like that, but it's it's actually raised up one. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then if we go ahead, lift that up, and then we're gonna grab the the tall springs. Go ahead and put these guys on, and then we're going to put this right here on. And then we'll just flip these around, be able to put this on, and then we actually have the big tire that's going to be on the back here. So I think that's actually a pretty decent start for the vehicle. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's like a couple of the aesthetic bolts that go back here. Um, let's actually drop this back down for a second because there is something that I'm missing. So let's take this, and then this is actually going to go... Get up here. Ah, there we go. All right. This is actually going to go right like this and like that. Now, I'm not sure how these are connected. Like I said, I'm going to put them in like that so it kind of looks like it matches. We'll take that off. And then I actually want to, I want to take this off too. So why don't we take that out and that out? All right. So I think that's a good start. I think that's a real good start. 
Um, I actually I have got to tab over and take a picture or take a closer look at this picture because it's actually really tough. All right, so it looks like. All right, it looks like. Let's grab some of this piping. Uh, this this little pipe short. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that and grab this. And this will kind of give us a good gauge of how everything's going to work. So we'll put that on and put that on. And then we can see that we actually have a elbow right here. And we have one on the other side as well. Just like that. And then there goes two bars forward. And then we've got another bar facing inward, like so, and like so. So I'm kind of thinking that this engine is too far forward. I'm not sure. Like, I can't I can't quite see everything on this picture. So a little a bit of this, I think, is actually going to be impri uh, improvised, improved. So we'll do one of these. And then one of those, one of those, one of those. All right, and then we get this guy in here, and then there's actually a valve. Yeah, there we go. And that valve will go on top. Okay, so from there, we're going to take one of these, uh, and then we're going to need this thing. We're going to leave this. We're going to need the, the little spring. Yeah, like so. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at this picture, trying to decipher it a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm torn. <laughs> That's one of the things is like I'm it's it being so hard to see this picture the way that I think I should be seeing it. It's a little tough. Um, and then I'm gonna need this. Okay. So why don't we start this process? I'm actually going to take off this section and this section because I'm I'm kind of, I'm really, really thinking that that is where that needs to go. But uh, let's swap this and then come down. And then I should be able to remove that because for some, oh yeah, there we go. We just placed that on there like so. And then we can come out with that, come out with that. And then we can come up and then we can place our our turning points here and here with that that and then a couple of springs and then we can place our wheels on here to the outside all right so I think I think that's pretty darn close. Oh gosh, it's so hard to tell. Um, I'm actually gonna take uh, this out here. Let's take this and this. And I'm gonna add just a little little bit here because for some reason I don't, I can't tell. Like, it's so hard to, to see. But we'll put this on like that and then if I had my guess, we, there's actually like a couple of these things in front. Uh, there's even this guy here that looks to be on the front side as well. So why don't we do that? Why don't we take these off actually and put these on? And I think that actually is the wrong rotation. So let's actually take that off. I'll have to get that block out again. All right, just like that. Okay. So why don't we connect a few things up here? We've got turning devices. We've got thrust. Um, I think I'm going to put the thrust in the front. Or not the thrust in the front, but we'll just do that number there, that number there. And then we'll take this off. That's got to be right. I don't see any way that that couldn't be right, but that is a... All right, let's switch these. 
All right, can I turn this up a little bit? Oh, hey, hold on. Hold, please. <laughs> All right, let's take this and connect it up to the engine. All right, and we'll go in reverse. Actually, let me turn that back up. Excuse me. And just like so. All right, so here we go. This is that motorcycle. Whoa, oh God. Oh, no, not good, not good. Are you kidding me? That thing flipped back up really well. All right, so this is what I'm gonna call the Axolot trike. Um, I'm not like 100% sure what, you know, they would call it. Um, it is definitely pretty cool of a vehicle. I, you know, personally, I'm still in love with the first vehicle we made uh, from them. But, uh, you know, this one's not bad either. This one definitely has some major thrust. And I, I do, I find it actually really cool that, uh, you know, it sits at an angle like that. That is not a design that I personally would have chose. But I have a lot of fun, like, recreating these vehicles and trying them out. I think it, it's pretty darn neat. So why don't we try... Let's take this thing for a little bit of a ride here. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's try and traverse this little hill right here. Whoop. And see, that's one of the nice things, too, is that thruster really seems to be able to, to turn me over with no problems whatsoever. Like, it's, it's kind of funny. So there's a lot of rocks through here. Let's go over to this other field. I don't know if it's just me, like maybe this map is just this big, but I always feel like every time I load up, I'm on a slightly different map. It just looks different, it feels different, driving around, and so there might be like a variation of maps uh, that we just don't know about. But here's that sign. Okay, yeah, we're not too far away. You know what? Why don't we do something here? Why don't we, why don't we make an executive decision um, to, to change this up ever so slightly in the design process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw a button. I like, I like symmetry. So I'm going to throw buttons on either side here. I'm going to take this off. Actually, let's just take that. We'll put it back on like so. We'll connect this button up to there, to there. Okay. And then we can get in. All right, so now we can drive just like we normally could. And then if we need a little boost, like you can act kind of like a nitro that we can turn on or off. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. Tell me what you think of the Oxalot trike in the comment section down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And let me know what you guys would like to see me make next. All right, guys, my name is Drax. Have a good one.